Hey there, this is Laquita with QuitaBugHandmaids.com and thank you so much for joining me today for another Stampin' Up! tutorial. I am so excited to share today's project with you. I am featuring the Botanical Blooms stamp set along with the coordinating framelits. These two are on the retiring list, I'm sad to say. Um, this is a really, really great set, so if you're interested in either of these two, I would suggest grabbing them up uh, while they're still available. And then I'm also using the Pop of Paradise stamp set, another really great set. And this one's actually carrying over into our new annual catalog, which I'm so excited about because I love this little flamingo. Okay, so here's what today's project looks like. And I absolutely love this card, you guys. I love everything about it. So I created this card for my team color challenge this week. So as you can see, our colors were Flirty Flamingo, Peekaboo Peach, crumb cake and also gold foil and I love this color combination together and I knew I was going to because I absolutely love gold and I love flirty flamingo and peekaboo peach is one of my favorites as well so I knew I was gonna love it but once I put this card together and it all just came out so beautiful I just fell in love with this combination so let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you how to make this beautiful hello flamingo card all right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with some stamping. So I've got one of our medium Whisper White envelopes here because y'all know I like to decorate my envelopes. And then I've got two pieces of Whisper White cardstock. This is just a piece of scrap um, cardstock. And then this piece is for the Flamingo and this is cut at two inches by four inches. So let's go ahead and start with the Peekaboo Peach. And I wanna stamp the Hello sentiment here. So let me get my Hello. Okay, so just ink this up. All right, and we'll just stamp that. I'm gonna stamp it off to the right. We are gonna punch this out, but this way, um, if I stamp it off to the right, I've got a little piece to hold on to when I punch it. Ugh, love this color. Okay, we can set that to the side, and let's go on to our flamingo. And I'm going to ink this little guy up, or girl, that's a girl, and ink this up, and I'm just going to wipe off the flirty flamingo from the beak, okay, there we go, and then I'm going to bring in my Stampin' Right Basic Black Marker, Ugh. and I'm just going to use the thick brush tip side, and I'm going to color in that beak, just like that. Okay, and then I want to stamp this flamingo towards the top, kind of high up. And hopefully in the center and straight would be good. And let's give it a press. Okay, that's pretty good actually. I think it's kind of leaning or tilting towards the back, but that's okay. The flowers uh, will balance that out, so that's, that's fine. All right, so before I stamp my envelope, I'm just gonna bring in my Stampin' Scrub, clean off my Flamingo, so I can get that basic black off of there. And then we're gonna ink it up one more time. Okay, just gonna wipe off that beak there. Get my basic black here. Use that brush tip, there we go. And then I'll just stamp that. I wanna stamp the entire flamingo on my envelope. And you still have room for both of your addresses. Just press and hold to get that really well. Perfect, love it. All right, so now I wanna start setting up my Big Shot platform. So I've got my Big Shot platform, then I've got my thin die adapter, and I found that when you're using the botanical builder framelits, the precision base plate really helps get a nice cut using those framelits. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna lay out my cardstock. I wanna get as many things cut at once as I can. So I've got some crumb cake here, then I've got peekaboo peach, now I've got flirty flamingo, and I'm gonna put a piece of gold foil. And let's go ahead and lay our framelits down. So we're gonna use this leaf, and the precision base plate is not magnetic, so just remember that when you're using it. Uh, we're gonna use this large leaf, and that should fit, yep. And we're going to use this flower. 
then this little guy here. I'm not sure what that is, but I like it. We're gonna use that on the gold. And then, oh, this little flower for the peekaboo, or the flirty flamingo. All right, so let's bring in the big shot. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and lay one cutting plate on top here. Put this into my big shot and we will just run this through. And I'm gonna actually run it through twice just to be sure everything cuts really well. All right, so let's take these pieces off. All right, so I've got my Big Shot die brush here and the foam pad, and I've just got that in one of our uh, wood clear mount stamp cases, which you can get in my online store. And I'm just gonna use this to kind of help pop out my little gold piece, and then also my peekaboo peach flower. I'm just gonna kind of run the brush over the back, and it just helps pop that out. There we go. So now what we need to do is cut a few more pieces. So I'm gonna lay down all these pieces again because we need another gold, another peekaboo peach flower, one more flirty flamingo, and then one more of the small leaves. Okay, and then a cutting plate on top and I am just going to run this through the big shot as well. All right, so now that we've got all of our pieces cut out, I'm gonna take my little leaves and we're gonna stamp those using the coordinating um, stamps from the Botanical Blooms stamp set. So I'm gonna take out my crumb cake ink and then I've got this little image which goes inside of the larger leaf. I'm just gonna ink that up, stamp that inside of my leaf here. Hopefully I can line that up, okay. Okay, and then I've got the image for the smaller leaves here. Okay. All right, there we go. So now I've got some mini glue dots and I'm gonna go ahead and add my gold flower here to the center of my flirty flamingo flowers. And now I'm gonna use a glue dot to add the flirty flamingo flower with the gold to the center of the peekaboo peach. Just like that. Now I'm bringing in my Stampin' Up! piercing mat and I'm just gonna turn my flowers upside down and I've got my uh, scoring tool here. I'm gonna use the large end and I wanna add a little bit of lift to these petals. So I'm just gonna poke them right into my mat. And now you can see each one of the little interior petals has this nice little dimensional look to them. I just love how this creases them and makes them kind of come to life. Okay, so now I've got a piece of the Pop of Pink Designer Series paper, and this is the piece that has the gold foil polka dots. I love this piece. This was my favorite um, specialty piece in that Designer Series paper. So this is cut at four inches by five and a quarter. And what we're going to do is we're just gonna go ahead and adhere the flamingo more towards the top than the bottom. Right about there looks good. And I'll just use Fast Fuse to do that. So now what we'll do is we'll start kind of laying down our pieces. I want this larger leaf to go down towards the corner here. Then I want this leaf about right here. 
and then this one over here like that. That's about how I want the leaves on. So I'm gonna go ahead and add those on with Fast Fuse. You could also use glue dots. Okay, and once you've got them where you think you want them, go ahead and press down. Now I'm gonna take these two flowers and add dimensionals to the back to give them even more lift. Okay. And now I'll just decide where I want them. So let's see, I think I want one to be right about there. And then, okay, so I think that's about where I want my flowers to go. So I'm just gonna go ahead and press those in right about there. Now I'm gonna take my hello and my one and a quarter circle punch and I'm just going to pop out this hello and there's gonna be a little thin white border around this hello. Okay. And now we can just flip that over, add some fast fuse to the back and I'm gonna take my gold metallic thread and just create some small loops around my finger here. That should be enough. And we're just gonna twist this around and lay it in that fast fuse. Okay, just like that. Perfect. Okay, so I don't know if you can see those little loops. Let me see here. So you can see how that gold looks behind there, I think you can see it there. Okay, I love creating that look. And then we're just gonna add dimensionals to the back of this as well. And then this will go right in the top right hand corner by our flamingo and put it right about there. Okay, love that. Okay, so now for our card base, I've got a piece of crumb cake cardstock. This is cut at 11 inches by four and a quarter inches, and I have scored it at five and a half inches to make it a vertical folding card. So that means it opens up like so. And I'm just gonna flip over this layer. You could add this layer on with just Fast Fuse or Snail, but I wanted to pop it up since it's the only layer on the front of the card. Um, and there's no other cardstock layer. I thought it'd be fun to just pop this one up. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and add this to the center of our card. All right, and the last step is to add two of these large circle enamel shapes. These are the flirty flamingo enamel shapes from our 2016-2018 um, in colors. So there we go. All right, and so that finishes up this beautiful card. I absolutely love this card, you guys. Okay, so here's my original card. And here's the card that we created today in the video. So what do you think? I don't know, I think that I'm loving these polka dots more than the sprinkles. I love this card, but I love polka dots. I love gold, so gold and polka dots, uh, yeah, this one's gonna have to be my favorite. It's just really standing out to me. All right, and remember, if you'd like to purchase any of the supplies that you saw me use today, just head on over to today's coordinating blog post. I've linked that just below the video in the description notes. And over there, I've got all of the supplies and all of the measurements for today's project. Also, don't forget, some of these products are on the retirement list, so if you're interested in them, I'd grab them while you can. So that would be the designer paper, the botanical builder framelits, the botanical blooms stamp set that we used, these in color enamel shapes. So grab those things while you still can. So thank you guys so much for joining me today, and I will see you again very soon. Bye now.